Thirds, Volume 1, Books 1 to 3, by Charlie Cochet is an action-packed compilation from the series that revolves around a paranormal law enforcement agency known as the Therian Human Intelligence Recon Defense Squadron, or Thirds. Set in an alternative reality where humans coexist with Therians, humans who can shift into animals due to a virus, the series blends elements of romance, science fiction, and crime drama. The agency's task is to maintain the peace between humans and Therians while dealing with crime, terrorism, and prejudice across the globe. Central to the series is the relationship between Dexter Dex J. Daly and Sloane Brody. Hell in High Water, Book One, introduces us to the protagonist, Dex Daly, a talented and cheerful detective who joins the Thirds after witnessing corruption within the human police force. Dex is assigned to Team Delta of Destructive Delta Unit, where he is partnered with brooding team leader Sloane Brody, a Jaguar Therian coping with a complicated past. Their partnership is rocky at first, due to their differing personalities and Sloane's grief over the loss of his previous partner and lover. The story kicks off with a series of murders that seem linked to a radical anti-Therian group called the Order of Adrastea. As Dex and Sloane investigate, they face several challenges, from the attitude of team members who are skeptical about Dex's abilities to clues suggesting a conspiracy within Thirds itself. Throughout the case, Dex and Sloane begin to develop a deep, albeit conflicted, bond that blurs the lines between professional and personal. Their attraction grows as they discover there's more to the murders, revealing a larger plot that threatens the fragile peace between humans and Therians. Dex's charismatic and quirky nature begins to thaw Sloane's defenses, leading to moments of romantic tension. Meanwhile, the duo works alongside other members of Destructive Delta, including a diverse cast of characters with their own unique quirks and relationship dynamics. Blood and Thunder, Book 2 Continues to explore Dex and Sloane's deepening relationship, the duo faces challenges on both personal and professional fronts. The case involves a serial killer targeting both human and Therian victims. As the killer's brutal methods seem to have a connection to Therian history, the team has to delve into the past while dealing with their own internal issues. Throughout the investigation, Dex has to confront not only the dangers of his job, but also the challenge of being accepted by his new colleagues. He struggles with his feelings for Sloane, knowing that Sloane's heart may still belong to his deceased partner. Moreover, his brother, Sale, and their adoptive father, Tony, worry for his safety in this high-risk environment. As the plot thickens with twists and turns, the presence of a traitor within thirds comes to light, endangering the entire team. Sloane must also face his traumatic, war-torn past and how it's impacting his present, especially his budding relationship with Dex. The dynamic between Dex and Sloane becomes increasingly critical to the narrative as they navigate their intense attraction amidst the chaos. Dex's relentless optimism and humor clash and complement Sloane's more serious and damaged demeanor. Together, they fight against both external threats and their own personal demons, striving to maintain their romantic connection. Rack and Ruin, Book 3 Sees the relationship between Dex and Sloane becoming even more complicated. Their romance intensifies, but so do the risks, particularly in terms of their professional lives and the strict non-fraternization policies of thirds. The stakes are higher as secrets from the past emerge, truly testing the team's loyalty and strength. In this installment, a series of bombings linked to an underground group of Therian activists suggests that someone is trying to start a war between humans and Therians. The anti-Therian sentiment is escalating, with chaos brewing in the background. Destructive Delta is tasked with not only stopping these bombings, but also uncovering the masterminds behind the sinister plot. Amidst the turmoil, Sloane must confront his traumatic past and its connection to the ongoing events. There are revelations regarding his history, including the significance of his former partner Gabe's death and the true nature of the first-generation Therians which have a profound impact on both the operations of Thirds and Sloan's state of mind. Team dynamics further evolve as the trust within the team is tested. Relationships between other characters also receive more focus, highlighting an ensemble cast whose stories interweave with the primary plotline. 
the loyalty and camaraderie shared by the team play a central role in solving the crisis they face. As the romance between Dex and Sloan grows, they have to balance the intense passion they share with the knowledge that getting too involved could jeopardize their positions within thirds. Tension mounts as they tackle the dual threats of procedural complications within their agency and their covert relationship, all while a potentially devastating conflict looms over the city. The narrative is not just a love story or a procedural crime investigation. It's also an exploration of discrimination, the meaning of family, and the complexities of identity in an intricately built paranormal world. Characters are forced to grapple with these themes while navigating action-packed scenarios and unraveling the central mystery. By the end of the third book, significant developments leave readers eager for more as the plot lines remain unresolved, setting the stage for continued struggle, both on the battlefield against external threats and within the hearts of the main characters. With no shortage of wit, suspense, and emotional depth, Thirds Volume 1, Books 1 to 3, is an engaging journey through a world where the lines between humanity and animal instincts, love and duty, and good and evil are artfully blurred. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.